Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Um, um, as, as I've said, um, now I'm going to present some something on, on, on WASH and with integration to the, to, to uh, I mean, to OCB or cholera, cholera uh, vaccine in Zanzibar. And uh, next, please. Next slide, please. This is um, the, the, the outline of my presentation, and I will start with them um, directly with the, the, the background. Is, um, I think some of us might know about the Zanzibar is a semi-autonomous region of Tanzania. It's not uh, completely part of, is a part of Tanzania, but we have our own administration and uh, political administration, and we are sharing some on, on the, some of, uh, of, of issues uh, with, the, with our colleague in mainland. But it has got two main islands, Unguja and Pemba, and um, small, small, small islets in, in different, different areas. Uh, we are in population, we are, we are about 1.8 million people. And um, frequently, uh, frequently we have been affected by, by, by cholera, as I've said earlier, since, um, since um, frequently, I mean, recently from, 1978, uh, from the very big epidemic which happened in 1978, but also there was a, a history of um, epidemics, a big, very huge epidemic in 80s and 96. I mean, 1886, and you can read this from James Christie. I think he has he has written very well about cholera history in Zanzibar, and the but um, the. Most um, recent, uh, most recent epidemic was in 2019, where um, the cholera epidemic happened, particularly in the urban area. Uh, we are calling here a, in very urban area to start with, and, and then affecting the the, the whole of, of, of urban area. Uh, in previous previously, uh, following in you know. Some of us might remember we had a um, very uh, uh, successful uh, exercise of cholera, cholera vaccination exercise here in, in 2008, no, 2009, 2008, 2009. And then after that vaccination, we stayed for about five years without, uh, without epidemic. And then unfortunately we got very huge epidemic uh, in 2016, and then uh, which went to up to up to 2017, which affected um, about four four hundred uh, four thousand people, and then um, affected almost 70 percent of the of the of Shahias um, uh, of, of of Zanzibar in urban and, and rural areas. Next, please. Hello. Next. Yeah, after uh, in, after understanding that that um, uh, that frequent epidemics, that's why then the, the government of Zanzibar have decided now to 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 end this history and make cholera cholera be a history and forgotten in in, in, in Zanzibar. So we have developed that um, ZACSEP, which I have which I have explained a bit a bit deeper in in my previous presentation. Uh, it has got uh, those three areas: enabling environment, prevention, activity, uh, prevention. I mean, interventions on prevention, but also dealing with the the the, the response when 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 there is a there is an epidemic in the country. And um, uh, with this with this OCV or cholera cholera uh, uh, vaccination, we are planning to to vaccinate about thirty three shares. Uh, been been said here by by DG that the Shehia is uh, the lowest administrative um, uh, location in, of, of Zanzibar with about three hundred up to sometime up to ten uh, I mean three thousand up to up to ten thousand people and then we are we are aiming at um, vaccinating about thirty three location of this kind which are commonly affected by by cholera in the country and then. Um, uh, most of these areas are in the peri-urban area or urban uh, urban west district, which uh, mostly cover the, the the slum area of the of the of the urban and the and the urban itself. And um, the this campaign was initially planned to be conducted in on 15th of February to start on 15th February, 
but as, as I told you, there are uh, something happened here uh, because of the, of the, as you might also know that um, we are having the new government now with the new president and new cabinet and new everything. So we had to delay some, some for some time, but also something happened in the, uh, the loss of our, our president. So there are a lot of things which, which make us, which made us not to start on that and um, that uh, that 15 but also there is um, uh, coming uh, ramadan here where you can, we cannot provide um, this vaccination during ramadan as as you you might understand that 90 percent of our population is muslim are uh, muslim and uh, probably they will be fasting during those those days and we have postponed this up to up to probably after after the, the ramadan and one month after next please yeah, so this this is uh, I have I've mentioned a lot of on 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 this. This is the the uh, the organization of the of the ZACCEP itself on on those three areas, and you will see cholera vaccine have been mentioned here as one of the key uh, key intervention on preventing uh, cholera in Zanzibar. But we are always insisting that this is this intervention is only should be uh, should be done in conjunction. With them, with the strengthening the the wash and water availability in, in the country, uh, to give to give us some breather time where we can strengthen our 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 wash interventions, wash infrastructure availability of, of water and um, and sanitation issue uh, uh, within at least three to five years of of no cholera because of the of the vaccination. Next, please. Next. Yeah, this shows the 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 uh, access to to health facilities in Zanzibar. I've mentioned earlier, I've mentioned earlier that uh, we are lucky that uh, in Zanzibar we are having a um, health facility in every three to four kilometer. You 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 can imagine every three to four kilometer. Rarely you can go up to five kilometer without without health facility. Health facility are everywhere. So we have um, we have decided to connect all of these issues with our 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 our, our health facility. On the map there, you can see uh, you can see there's uh, some areas where which are a bit um, a bit congested, and um, that's why it has been taken out from the map. This is this what we are mentioning as the the peri urban area or the urban area with them with a very high population and some are congested. And the most of the epidemics usually either start from those area or in the in the or from the the wash, I mean the the fishing camps uh, uh, between um, between the Zanzibar and and, and mainland. Um, next, please. Yeah, uh, I've been I I have mentioned earlier that um, we have conducted cholera uh, or severe, I mean cholera cholera vaccination exercise here in 2009-2010, uh, where we targeted um, 50,000 people to be vaccinated, and we managed to, to vaccinate at least 52%. Uh, by then, we used the Duclo. As you, you, you know, there is um, some challenge on, on Duclo with um, a lot of buffer you have to, 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 to take. And anyway, um, so, so, so uh, this time we'll be using the, the UV call and which somehow we are thinking is better compared to 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 to, to, to do call. And um, um, I as I mentioned during the the the, the OCV wash interventions will be always integrated during the the campaign during the uh, health promotion activities always wash should be highly integrated particularly. In the community at the and the and the school, there was a, there there will be a specific intervention targeting on this area during the OCV itself, but also after after the the, the OCV. And um, um, there there are some some thinking that um, after after vaccination of um, in two thousand and ten there was a, there was no epidemic for five years. But definitely, definitely, this has been highly contributed to the by the the the, the vaccination itself. Uh, also, so um, yeah, 
I, I have mentioned that after 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 that ex, after OCV exercise in 2009 and 10, we didn't have in cholera for almost five years. And, but definitely, uh, what we are what we believe that this has, this has been contributed by not only the, the vaccination itself, but also the the wash improvement and, and water improvement in water availability in the in the in the country. And then and, and that's why we are saying always that this the uh, cholera cholera vaccination should be uh, should be should be integrated within the the improvement in wash interventions and, and infrastructure and then um, after and you can see this once after after uh, after that five years we got a huge epidemic with about 4000 people affected and 68 among them uh, died so this shows the importance of um, not relying on vaccination, but also the vaccination should be should be connected with improving of um, improving in water availability and um, sanitation infrastructure. Next, Mattel. And <clears throat> after understanding that, and our plan in in this uh, vaccination exercise is that during the the campaign and during the and even after the campaign, the the, the OCV will be connected or integrated with other. I mean, other, I mean, I mean, with them, uh, wash related intervention. Particularly, we are targeting schools now. And we are targeting the, the community, whether in school and the, and the, uh, and the community, uh, general community as well. We, <clears throat> uh, there have been, there have been uh, several education program have been planned to with, uh, with our colleague with, uh, from the health promotion uh, department of the, of the ministry. Uh, Ministry of Education and Media. Uh, we've been working very closely and together with this 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 tripartite area. I mean the health promotion. Yeah, I mean the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, together with the with the media and going to the to the community together. And then um, uh, several media are used here. TV and then um, social media have been uh, very very well. Used and, and the access is very good in, 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 in Zanzibar. In the school, together with the community, we are planning to, to provide a, a source. During the campaign on OCV, we'll be also talking on the importance of um, people preventing themselves from, from diarrhea diseases. And we'll be providing uh, some soap bars uh, to, 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 to facilitate and watching, but also. So to, more, to, to motivate people from uh, from washing their 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 hand, but also we'll be talking and facilitating the construction and use of the of the of the of the, of the battery. We have learned a lot from Kojani Island. Uh, there is a, a lot of um, several several uh, pilot projects in Kojani uh, where we we constructed some of the of the of the of the um, toilet there and uh, there's a uh, there's a, a good usage of, of of the of those latrines and the campaign was uh, working very 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 well and uh, when we i remember when we went there several times people were asking okay guys um, you are giving this uh, construction i mean you are giving this latrine but also if you can give us some uh, some vaccination uh, at least to get to get um, to get a breather of, for two to three years uh, without having cholera. I remember, Kojani is among the notorious area with for cholera in, in, in Pemba, the most notorious area in, in, in Pemba. Next year, uh, Doctor Fadil, I'm afraid we are getting closer to the end of the time allocated to this webinar. Yes. Could you, uh, could you just really speed key, things up? Uh, yeah, I think I think you can you can you can uh, read the the the, um, the challenges and but one I think one I wanted to to mention is about the confusion now you know uh, con confusion between OCV and the and the COVID vaccination people might might have some some confused and we're we're working on this and people are still I start, started to ask about what 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 the type of those of that uh, vaccination. That, are you sure that is not vaccination for COVID? And anyway, um, this needs education and, and sensitization alone. Okay, next so, please. 
Maybe we should yeah. go These to the, the questions. Much, most of them I have, I have already mentioned already. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We have two questions for you. Yes. The first one would be, what is the access or coverage, uh, wash coverage in healthcare facilities in Zanzibar? It's from Mashat Malo. Yeah, in healthcare, in healthcare facility, most of our health 